Bravo, good afternoon to you. Report your altitude. Uh, 2,000 feet on 1014, Bravo, Bravo. Bravo, Bravo. Hello YouTube, Wycliffe Barrett here. Today we're looking at Beirut XP11 version 1.0 by Labor Simulations. Now, uh, this is freeware. I mean to say that straight off, it's freeware. And you get this incredible uh, manual that has all these different sections in it. It's got a practical section, a literature section, uh, some very important information here, which is stuff like, uh, did you go through the included EULA? This is a freeware add-on. Uh, we modded part of the Middle East of X Plane 11, all sorts of things. It's absolutely immense. This is one of the largest manuals I've seen for a freeware uh, application. So, looking at the practical section, right in here, it talks about um, the system that was used to actually develop the scenery. So, it was a, a, an eight year old computer, which is uh, an Intel Core i7 26, um, Asus P8P67 Pro motherboard, uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070, Corsair cooling, etc. etc. Um, and what they're saying, in other words, is if you've got an equivalent system, it will run perfectly fine. If you've got a better system than that, then it'll, it'll run even better. It's absolutely amazing what they've done here. Um, and the information they give you is spot on. Uh, it moves on then towards talking about the... Uh, legal license of X-Plane, which we don't really need to worry about too much as we've all got a legal copy of X-Plane, and then it moves on to installing the scenery. Now the important thing about this is it actually tells you what libraries you need. Uh, there are a few libraries, not many, but a few, and you've probably got most of them, but all of the links in the document are direct to the libraries. I will say make sure you install the JB library uh, uh, files correctly. Okay, so let's have a look. Here we are then on the ground at Beirut Airport, um, which is in the Lebanon, and for those of you of a certain age, like myself, you'll know Beirut uh, very well. It's had a really complicated past and history. Uh, it was owned, uh, it, not owned, it was ruled at one point by the Ottoman Empire, which is the Turkish Ottoman Empire. It was ruled by the French for a considerable amount of time. And in actual fact, the vast majority of Lebanon speak French and Arabic. And there are even parts of Lebanon that speak English and Arabic, because you've got a, a Muslim side and a Christian side, uh, so to speak. Uh, as I say, it's had a really colourful past. It's been in the middle of all sorts of things. It's in the Middle East, and at one point, it, you know, there was even thoughts that maybe you know, a huge conflict could start uh, in Lebanon. Um, it was uh, at one point suffering a number of terrorist attacks, and in the 70s and 80s, the city, in actual fact, was almost destroyed, um, and there's been a huge rebuilding program of the city and the airports. And if you go on Wikipedia and have a look, um, you'll see that detail about the airports and uh, the, the amount of work that's gone on there since the 1990s in actually bringing the city of Beirut uh, back into the real world, so to speak. There's been a lot of rebuilding and, of course, the same goes for the airport. There's been a lot of rebuilding at the airport and it is now, in actual fact, a tourist destination. So, as I say, we're on the ground and uh, just doing some scanning shots here of this airport. Now, it is a large airport and the configuration is of, um, of the runways is a V, so to speak. Uh, and the reason being for this is that there was two runways actually added and they went out into the sea. So what happened was, of course, they built up the land uh, ar around that area. Um, so they reclaimed land and they put a runway on it. So it, originally it was thought that the new runways would take over from the old runways. But what has happened in development of the airport in the real world is that all the runways are still being used because of the increase uh, flow of traffic into Beirut Airport. So, looking at it, it's got it's, it's using all the usual stuff, all the usual techniques in terms of uh, how it looks. There's PBR rendering, there's uh, baked occlusion, and there's auto photo scenery for the uh, area of the airport. It, as I say, it's very large, but there are 
there's one thing that I'm a little bit disappointed with, and whilst there's moving vehicles, move, moving ground traffic, there's not enough clutter. An airport of this size would be full of clutter. There would be baggage bins all over the place. There would be vehicles moving around, a lot more vehicles than are. Uh, but when you start getting outside of the airport and you look around, it is breathtaking. The, the depth and scale of work here is absolutely phenomenal. And I believe um, the development team spent two years in creating a uh, Beirut Airport and the city of Beirut. So you don't just get the airport, you get the city as well. And it covers a huge area. I cannot tell you how many buildings are in this area. It's absolutely vast. So you've got uh, the downtown, downtown, downtown area of Beirut, uh, the uh, outlying metropolitan area and the suburbs up into the hills. And at night time, it, it does look breathtaking. Um, so Within the manual, you do get to, uh, settings, um, and you see the rendering tool that they've used, and all sorts of things. And you go around the city. There's just so much to look at, and and there are some fabulous screenshots of Beirut VFR city. Uh, it's realistic rendering of Beirut city for VFR flights as well as helicopter operations. Uh, Colour corrected and refined ortho photo layout. So not only do you get an ortho photo of the airport itself or the, the airport environment you do get auto photo for the city itself as well they've also tweaked the underlying mesh of x-plane so they've created they've not created a new mesh but they've tweaked the underlying mesh of uh, x-plane 11 to make it better so you've got sloping runways you've got uh, hills throughout the city you know there's the top topography of the city is absolutely incredible so there's layers of infrastructure around the city. There's custom auto gen layer. There's generic residential and commercial facades with custom textures based on OSM data. Most of the city's major towers and landmarks are, are, are represented. Uh, very detailed downtown waterfront marina and surrounding area. Uh, the major shrines and mosques reflecting the uh, religious diversity of Lebanon uh, are, are custom made. Uh, Downtown main infrastructure and landmarks are custom made. There's library elements like cars, boats, ships and tankers to add life to the marina area. In terms of adding life, where, where the scenery falls down is uh, at the airport. And, and that is because, for me, there is not enough um, static aircraft. In fact, there are none. So you can, you can load up at... Um, Lebanon Airport, uh, Beirut Airport, sorry, and there is no static aircraft. Here we are just having a quick whiz around the city at high speed. Uh, I will slow down, I promise you. Because there's no static aircraft at the uh, airport, when you, when you land there or load up there, it kind of looks really sterile. And that, along with there not being enough clutter, is the one thing that is a little bit of a niggle but you can get around that by simply turning uh, parked aircraft on in your x-plane 11 settings look at this night time there just just fading tonight and then coming back up towards morning daylight it, i mean it just looks so good uh, this was just clear weather um i didn't i didn't have fsgrw running so this is skymax pro a couple of clouds there and the weather was very clear in beirut when i did this just look at the number of structures here in buildings mostly apartment buildings as you're in the kind of uh, city and greater metropolitan area if you go out into the outskirts and the suburbs uh, you will find more houses, so to speak. Not many, but they are there. But just look, you know, we're coming over a football stadium here. Uh, football, of course, played all over the world. Uh, loved and played all over the world. Doesn't matter where you are. But it's just it's huge. It just goes on and on and on with no frame rate hit at all. As I said, this, this was developed on an eight-year-old PC. And I think them doing that has been exceedingly clever because it, it, it proves that it will run on almost anything. So the Lebanon Library Mod and Overlay, the following data-driven customization was done for the whole country of Lebanon. So region-based custom autogen using library export commands. Um, 
Default Europe, European townhouses replaced with custom-made concrete blocks typical of the city's residential architecture. You can see that here. Uh, within the manual, you get some use, useful references providing you with information concerning the coverage of the scenery, which is right across the city and up into the mountains. As you can see here, absolutely beautifully drawn all the way down to the coastline and the uh, docks as well. There's cruise ships out in the harbour. It's just absolutely stunning. You can get this from xplane.org. I've put the link up here. You can copy that down or just go and look for it on the xplane.org. Also, if you've got FM car, or should I say the Follow Me car, the maps work, so you've got all the taxi routes and everything else. Absolutely brilliant. Hope you've enjoyed the video. This scenery is a must-have, even if you only fly there once. We'll see you soon. Cheerio. Bye.